Hello, welcome to another episode of Friday Sews where I just chat about well, this episode, I'm just chatting about like all things sewing. I'll share a couple of patterns with you. And I just hope that you're having a really good week and that you find inspiration to sew something new. I'm going to share with you a new online fabric shop that I just discovered. Um, I'm also going to share with you some McCall patterns. But first, this shirt that I'm wearing right now is a simplicity pattern. I've probably made about like six shirts. I always come back to this pattern and it's Simplicity 8336. And I am sharing this with you, this Simplicity pattern, because uh, this week at Joann's, Simplicity patterns will be $1.99. So if you're looking for one, I have this one right here. And in fact, um, that gives me an idea. I'm gonna share with you a couple more and then we'll move on to some other stuff. Some other Simplicity patterns that I love is 9265. This one I did a pattern review, um, so you could, I'll put the link right there. And then another fun simplicity pattern that I love, I even made a dress, I made one for me, I made one for my mom, and it's Simplicity 8872. And I did a pattern review, well, I don't know if I did a pat. I'll put the card up above too, and I, I can't remember if I did a pattern review on that one. Okay, so where do I start? I mean, I am so busy every single week, um, but I did put together a pattern review. You have to check it out. If you are looking for something simple, something to sew with knits, something with a puffy sleeve, something that is just on trend this summer that will carry you into fall is this McCall 7967. It is easy. I'm telling you, I know I probably said that a lot, but it's a knit fabric. You sew the front to the back, you gather the sleeves, and then you attach a neckband. But look how cute this turned out. You will love it. This dress is just adorable. I'm gonna make a few more of these, but I made it out of this cute abstract um, fabric that I got from Joann's. You know, I won't talk about it too much. You can just go ahead and click on that link. And it's just a simple, fun dress with amazingly cute sleeves. Again, you know, I just want to say I love reading your guys' comments. Georgia actually posted in one of my other videos that she tried the rolled hem foot. I did a video on that a while ago and it saves me so much time on sewing my garments. So she said that she tried it and it actually worked. Yay! If you can master the rolled hem foot, you will push out garments so much faster. Like probably, it probably, well, I think you can cut time in half if you can finish your garments that way. So yes, I love hearing from you and also, you know, just when you leave comments and just kind of share with me like your different sewing achievements. And then um, like a couple weeks ago, I was talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, this blue shirt that I made and was just kind of talking about, oh, it's kind of big around the shoulder area. It's kind of too low. And Jacqueline had mentioned, well, you probably could have sized down. And I thought, duh, like sometimes I make things harder than, harder than they should be. I really do have a creative mind and my mind is always going. And sometimes my solutions don't have to be so hard. Uh, hello, size down. I used to size large. If I use a size medium, that will probably solve a lot of problems and make some big improvements. So I really do appreciate your guys' feedback. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I made my daughter this cute strawberry tiered dress and I made one for her little best friend. So my oldest daughter, she saw the picture and, um, you know, thought it was cute and her friend had mentioned like, oh, do you think your mom will make us some like bestie dresses? And I was like, uh, yeah. And so my daughter went online and picked some fabric. Well, actually, I got to tell you though, um, I found, well, I'll share the patterns with you in a minute. And then, I, cause I, I got to share with you these wonderful fabrics that I found. Okay. Um, let me see. How did I hear about it? Uh, Mari from Mari Sews. She has a fun channel and she had just purchased some stuff from Zaloof Fabrics. I think they gifted her some fabrics. So anyways, I went on there um, she had some really cute fabrics, so I hurried and went on zaloofabrics.com 
and wow, they have some really pretty fabrics, you guys, and it is not badly priced. A lot of the fabrics were between like $9 and $6 a yard, and then of course, you know, they did have some fancier fabrics. But I had my daughter, I said, okay, well, you know, pick out a fabric here that you like. And so I gotta show you how cute this fabric is. This fabric, it I think it was like around $9, $9.10 a yard, but look at how vibrant this is. And it's got the border print. It's got a border print at the bottom. And so I'm going to make her and her friend a matching dress. And I picked an easy pattern. I'm going to make it out of my Simplicity 7742 that that pattern is so easy, it's so fun, it's short, they're younger, they like short dresses, and it's great for the summer. This is a crepe fabric. I'll see if I can show you that here's the texture behind it, and it's just a light drapey fabric. I already washed it, and I didn't even need to iron it. You guys, I'm starting to pick fabric based on if it needs to be ironed or not. And this one does not need to be ironed. And so I'm so excited to cut into this. And of course, I'm gonna send it to her because she's in St. George, Utah. And she is going to send me some really cute, fun pictures of her and her friend wearing their matching dresses. So I will keep you informed when I get those finished. Also, Zaloo Fabrics. They have free shipping over $60, and um, if you're a new guest, you get 15% off, I think. I was in such a hurry, I didn't put in that coupon code, which, ugh. but um, they did send me another email, and it says subscribe to our newsletter, and you'll get like 15% off. So I was like, score, I can't wait to put in another uh fabric order. But with this one, so I picked two fabrics. I got six yards of that vibrant floral fabric, and then I got three yards of this rayon fabric. And this one also has a border print, and I will show you the pattern that I'm gonna make with it, but let me show you the print. Um, I already washed this one as well, and so, you know, it, it frayed a little bit, but that's typical for a rayon chalet fabric. And it let me show you the border print on it. Okay, do you love this or not? This one has so much potential. I'm gonna show you some fun patterns that you could incorporate this border print with, and then I'm gonna show you the pattern that I'm actually going to use for it. Okay, so I'm kind of bugged because I can't find my other pattern, but the, okay, you know how I showed you the Simplicity is having their pattern sell. So this 8872, I think would be so cute with the border print. There's my inspiration that I'm, you know, that's my vision that I have is something like that. But see this view B, they kind of have it that way too, where they put that uh, lace type print in there. You could cut this in the bodice area, but to where this border print is in the middle going down, meeting up with the other side of the pattern. So this is a fun one to use for border prints. But what I'm going to use this print for is these, I'm so excited, and I think you guys will be too. It is going to be McCall's 7786. And Sharon at Sharon Sews, she actually made View D um, out of some stripe fabric. Oh my gosh, it's adorable, you guys. Um, I will, there is a picture. She let me put this picture up because I just, I love that. But I'm not going to do this quite yet. It takes a lot of fabric if you wanna do that one. I'll tell you, I'll give you the details. On View D, if you wanna do that one, let's say that you're gonna be like a size 14 you will need over four yards of fabric. I am just going to make view A, and that one you need about uh, two and a half yards of fabric. And I just think this will be so cute because the um, I'm going to have, let me show you a couple of vision inspirations. Those ones right there, I just love those. They're also called like palazzo pants. Um, well, also I'm gonna make them into capris, so some people might refer to them as like culottes, but I just love this border print. And so, so that is what I'm gonna have 
going along the bottom of my pants. So I can't wait to show you guys that one. I'm going to start cutting into that one this weekend. So I don't know where I'm gonna find the time. It may or may not happen, but I'm gonna be optimistic. Last week, Joann's had their $1.99 sale on their McCall's patterns. And so, yeah, that's when I picked up this pattern right here. And then I also picked up this pattern because I've, I've been noticing that I have a habit of picking out dress patterns, but turning them into shirts. And then that's not a very effective pattern review. So I finally bought a shirt pattern. I love the baggy sleeves on that. And so I do have a fabric in mind that I'm going to use that is gonna be perfect for going into fall. And then it's got all these different variations. Look how cute those sleeves are. You still got your uh, gathered puffy sleeve. You could even make a tank top, although I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. And then there's just the short sleeve version, but I love the raglan version and the gathering of that. I think that one will be so cute. I really do hope that I have inspired you to sew something and also you can get way more inspiration by putting in the search bar hashtag Friday sews. So thank you Jen for putting together the hashtag Friday sews and I hope you guys have some time to sew this weekend and until next time happy sewing. Bye guys.